All right, we're going to get right into this match between Elite Wolves and Enemy GG. A couple of well-known players here. This is probably one of the top matchups in the round of 32 in the America's Qualifiers. So we're going to get right into it. We've got the Dazzle and the Gyrocopter already banned out by the Dire. And the Ursa was banned for Elite Wolves. They have one more ban remaining. It's going to be the Abaddon. Both of these teams pretty well known. So they are going to be pretty, pretty familiar with how each other plays. And Elite Wolves definitely getting around the Americas scene. They play a lot of tournaments that involve some North American teams. The Invoker was picked up by Enemy. And immediately it's going to be the Spirit Breaker and the Queen of Bane picked up by Elite Wolves. So, quite a good combo there. You have a global presence for the Spirit Breaker. Could definitely do well against the Invoker. In addition, you could have the charge onto the Invoker as well as the Dust afterwards. So you don't have the Invoker being able to get away with that Ghost Walk. Which can end up being kind of annoying, especially in the early game. You do want to be careful on your initiations as a Queen of Pain, though, since this Invoker can catch you out. So we'll get into reserve time for the second pickup from Enemy. Again, this is the round of 32 in the Americas qualifier, so we left the casting of the final since there were a lot of people doing that definitely go and watch some of the other casters if you want to see that but we're going to go over to the americas right now where some of the matches might not be casted i see the dark seer picked up by the dire definitely could see some synergy with the invoker earlier we saw a play with kai p where they had a sven put his stun into the middle of the dark seer vacuum and then a deafening blast came through and pretty much wrecked all of, I think it was, it was Stark Gaming that that was against. So that was a pretty big play that we saw. So there's definitely a lot of synergy opportunities with the Darkseer and the Invoker. Something you definitely want to be careful of. That'll take us to our second banning phase. And we have the Undying and the Viper banned out. And that'll take us to a couple more bans for the teams. I was saying yesterday that I wasn't as impressed with some of the play by Elite Wolves. I think they could have been a lot cleaner. But they did play well, and Smash has had his usual good games. And I have not seen enemy yet in this tournament, though they have been doing well. I mean, they got to this point at least. This is definitely one of the games that is probably going to set up who would appear later in the tournament. I wouldn't put it past one of these teams to make it into the grand final. I know Elite Wolves has done rather well in the event so far. And in other previous events... I know that they went up against Unknown in one of the qualifiers for the Frankfurt Major and lost. But they did get pretty far in that event. The Oracle got banned out by Enemy. Definitely one of those newer heroes that you have to be careful of. A lot of the European teams have been counting the Oracle with the Omni Knight, so I don't think they're too worried about it coming out. And of course, there are ways that you can play around an Oracle. You can definitely counter it. It's just one of those things that you kind of have to prepare for and figure out your game plan against. One of the things that didn't really work so well is having a Bat Rider against an Oracle, since you can just remove that lasso right off the bat.
in any case, he will going pretty far into the the reserve time to get their last ban out here, or their next ban rather. And then after that, we'll be into the next picking phase. So they take out the lone druid and pick the witch doctor pretty quickly. The witch doctor, another good team fight hero, could get disrupted by the invoker right now, but he's generally far enough out of the vacuum that he's not going to get hit by it. So enemy might need a long range disable or some kind of silence that would stop the witch doctor ultimate. The Vengeful Spirit is going to be the pickup from enemy GG, so that could definitely work against the Witch Doctor. You have the Magic Missile stun. And the swap also works. And then Elite Wolves picks up the Anti-Mage. I'm thinking that's going to be an EWO Anti-Mage, so definitely something you need to be careful of. And, and the old matchup of Anti-Mage versus Invoker, one of those old storied matchups that you like to see sometimes. That'll take us to the fourth pickup for enemy. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And it looks like they're going to go into the reserve time for this one. Taking a little bit of a long time on this one. They still need a support and they still need a carry. Meanwhile, Elite Wolves they could be looking for another support as well. Or just something to round out their lineup. Could be a couple of things. And enemy goes for the Terror Blade. I'm assuming that's going to be the BSJ Terror Blade. Could be a lot of fun. He has played that hero a couple of times, although there are not as many people that are willing to do that. So Terra played could do well against the Anti-Mage in lane, but it's definitely something that you have to worry about later in the game since the Anti-Mage can just rip right through those illusions. Though, though he could take a lot of damage in the process. The Disruptor gets banned out by Elite Wolves. And then it takes us to the last ban for enemy. And we'll be rending out our draft pretty soon here. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <clears throat> Radiant Swing pick. The Zeus gets banned out by enemy, and the Lich is going to get picked by Elite Wolves. So, a little bit off the rails with that ban, but Elite Wolves just showing that they're going for the Lich, and we'll see how that works out. It could be good. Could clear out those Terra Blade Illusions, though. I don't know if that's what they want, or if they're going to use the Lich in some other way. Definitely will help protect the anti-mage. That'll take us to the last pickup for enemy. As they need one more hero to round up their line. They're going to go into the reserve time here. Taking a bit of time to figure out who they're going to pick up. I'm thinking that they need kind of some kind of support. Ten seconds. And they're going to get pretty close to the end of the reserve time. And they're going to pick up the Ogre Magi. It's interesting. Well, in the end, it's going to be an interesting matchup here. We do have kind of a color scheme here for your enemy. They've got, okay, from both teams, they've kind of got a lot of purple and blue heroes. So we've got some good color coordination there, so that'll make this match even more exciting. Let's get right into it. I'm going to introduce our teams. We've got Van 
on the Inch Mage. Old Sunstrike put right into the base. Smash is going to be on the Spirit Breaker. Masoku is going to be on that Witch Doctor. And Sans is going to see him right away. TPs to that lane as well. E was going to be on the Queen of Pain. And it's going to be a uh, Van Anti Mage. That's interesting. And Smash is going to be on the Spirit Breaker to round up that lineup. And these Sun Strikes are going all over the map. Slayer is just sitting in the base doing he's on the Invoker. Frozen is going to be on the Anti Mage. Sorry, the Ogre Magi for some reason. I don't know how my brain works. Sovereign is going to be on the Dark Seer. BSJ is going to be on that Terror Blade. And Sens is going to be playing the Vengeful Spear. Hanging out with two mangoes in the inventory already, getting a couple of tangos sent over as well. 30 seconds. 30 seconds from the beginning of the match. We'll see if we get a first blood here anytime soon. Is this going to be a mid lane anti mage? That's interesting. That is interesting. Maybe it'll be helped out by the witch. And then, of course, you've got the spirit breaker walking up the steps there to get a pretty good vantage point of what's going on. Sovereign with the Iron Shell Hat just kind of running around the bottom rune spot as Slayer is going to get that bounty rune and Van will get the one in the mid at the top rune spot. Going to go to the last hits and denies real quick. And now we're going to see Slayer blocking up the creeps in the mid lane. He's up against the Anti Mage and Lich combo. That's pretty interesting. Definitely did not predict that we would be seeing that. And now he plays right forward. Van going for Slayer right off the bat. Doesn't even have the, the uh, mana break. So he was just hitting him in the back. And it did quite a bit of damage. It took him down to about half health. Unfortunately, Van missed some last hits for that. And now he blinks forward again going right on to Slayer. What is he doing? They are level 1 going right after Slayer. And Slayer, I don't think he wants any part of it. Sense taking a little bit of harass on that top lane but we really got to be careful of the mid slayer you got to be careful especially when anti mage gets to level two which he does now and the forge spirit will help slayer a little bit as does getting to level two you got to be careful there though eo takes a bit of damage in the bottom lane getting smacked in the back by an ogre magi club and bsj just getting harassed out by smash Probably won't be long until we see a first blood. Slayer's going to get harassed out by Sia. Sia takes a couple of hits onto the invoker. And BSJ getting quite low. Someone's going to go down sometime. It's going to happen. The only question is where and who. They're going to let Sovereign alone on the bottom lane. Taking a scream in the back. Ewo does some damage to him. Sovereign, he's trying to get away. He's going to surge away now. Forced to use the surge. And Frozen's just going to find a rune at the bottom rune spot. It's going to be a haste rune. He's going to activate it and run right towards that middle lane. Could help out Slayer here. And he comes in. He's going to get scoured out by the ward. And Antimage knows to back up. Can they kill him? Probably not. And BSJ has used the metamorphosis already. Now here comes Frozen in from the backside, trying to get the courier, but they sent him south. And the Warbler and Snicked are going to get away. Meanwhile, Slayer, he's going to get slowed down. Van comes in with the mana damage. And here comes the Forge Spirit from Slayer. Can easily get taken care of by the Anti-Mage, as it has mana for him to burn. Now here comes Frozen. Frozen does the damage to Sia. There's a charge coming into Slayer. Slayer, he walks up, but he's taking too much damage. He's trying to get out. He eats a Fairy Fire. Van blinks forward. Takes the first blood onto the Invoker. And now Smash comes through. Smash trying to do some damage. Tanking the tower. But Van, he's taking too much damage from tanking it. So he's got to get out now. Salva's going to get canceled by the Ignite. And now Van. Van about to go down. He does... To the Ogre Magi, Frozen gets a solo kill on him. Van just being way too aggressive there. And now Masoku, who's caught out a little bit. 
But now here comes the turnaround of BSJ. BSJ getting charged down by Smash. Smash gets one hit in. Gets two hits in. Will BSJ go down? No, not just yet. Masoku is too low. He takes a magic missile in the back and sends. Takes him down. Now Smash is left alone on the top lane. Van is still taking the harass from the Slayer, so they might want to switch him out in a little bit. He's not doing as well on this lane as he used to be, though there is still kill potential on that Invoker. Elite Wolves definitely not afraid of giving us some interesting looks at the lanes here. Ewo takes a lot of damage from the Ignite. He's going to... Oh, does he burn out? No, he doesn't burn out. Gets very close. And now there's a charge on the Slayer. Lich comes in from the backside. He's trying to get out. He's taking a lot of damage. Ice Wall goes down in Van. Taking a lot of damage from the Cold Snap, but it doesn't matter. Invoker goes down. He's down for 15 more seconds. That's two deaths already for him. Enemy definitely seeing some staunch con competition in the form of Elite Wolves right now. Masoku doing some damage. Charge here on the BSJ. BSJ uses Metamorphosis. Turns around on the Smash. Magic Missile on the Smash. Smash taking a lot of damage, but that's not the one you want to hit. Here comes Evo. Evo puts the damage on the Sand. Sand's taking a lot of damage. He's going to go down. Now BSJ going to get charged down by Smash. The aggro from the tower going to get shared around, and BSJ in the end will go down to Smash. That's a double kill on the top lane as the Terror Blade of the Banana Slam Ajama goes down. Uh, C is going to TP back down to the bottom lane and uh, possibly push this tower back out po and try to get some levels. Already level 5 at this point, pretty early in the game, out leveling that Darkseer even. And now Frozen has ranged over to the mid lane, ready for Van. Van backs up a little bit. He again scouts out Frozen with the ward. This this high ground ward just doing so much work to protect uh, Van against any ganks. He was just going to find a rune here. Put it in his bottle. Elite Wolves are going to get both runes as Van can find a haste rune. And go up against Frozen. Take away his mana. He can't get any stuns off now. Van is just going to blink away. But that's okay. Banana Slam and Gemma looking for something. He's going to get hit by the Paralyzing Cast. Now Smash not going to use the charge there. As he knows that Loom on that Vengeful Spear is not too far behind. Slayer walking around with the Forge Spear. Puts it on the Van. Van gets hit by the Cold Snap. And now he's going to blink away. Gets out of range of that one. So Van's going to be okay for a second. Interestingly enough, Banana Slam and Jamma leading the last hit chart right now with 27. Followed closely by Van on that mid lane anti-mage. I always feel so weird saying that mid lane anti mage. Not really something you see too often. Slayer still has to be careful on that mid lane, which is still afoot. And he's coming in the backside here, which gets spied out by the catapult. Catapult chase him down! One hit on the Sia with the catapult. Anti-Mage blinks forward. Here comes the charge on the Slayer. There's, a, there's Smash getting cold snapped down. And now Frozen comes in with the stun. Smash gets low. He eats a Fairy Fire. He's trying to get away. Will he get away? Yes, he will. Not. <laughs> Ogre Mash, that takes him down. Nice uh, reaction TP by the Ogre Magi. And I don't think that Anti-Mage is the hero that you want Van on. We'll see how he does with it later in the game. But for me, he's just way too aggressive for it. Up in the face is not how you want to play your anti-mage. He's going to blink away from that cold snap. So I guess it does well against the invoker, but I'm still not a fan. At least for Van. Van, to me, seems like a very aggressive player. And he's really willing to go in for these. And sometimes that might not be the best thing against invoker. Very low amounts of last hits in this game. At least compared to what we're used to seeing. Smoke rotation onto the top. We've got a Spirit Breaker and the Lich. Lich has level 
six at this point, so has that. There it is. There's the ultimate banana slam and jamma goes right down. The ultimate's still bouncing around. Frozen's going to get hit by it. And there is nothing that he can do after that one. Is it called an ice blast? Chain frost. All right. Here comes the charge on the frozen. Frozen going to get charged down by the spirit breaker, who is level six, and he uses that ultimate on the frozen. One smack, two smack. He gets the stun off, but Lich is going to take out the ogre magi. And now the sun strike going to miss on the Masoku, who uses the paralyzing cask on the slayer, and he's just going to get smacked around by it a couple times. And look in the middle of the river. Loom taking a little bit of damage from Van. He's going to keep getting chased down. No stun available thanks to the mana break. And uh, Man of Void not going to be used. There it is. Gets enough vision for it. And now look. Banana Slam and Jamma trying to find some form on the map. He's going to get charged down by the Spirit Breaker. Here comes Smash. Blinking by Evo. Sonic Wave takes him down. That's another kill for Elite Wolves. Putting the hurt on the enemy. Sovereign in the jungle. Just getting some farm. That's about all he can do right now. Getting pretty close to a mechanism. About 800 gold away from it. Possibly 700. And the old invoker. Slayer invoker. Trying to get some gold here. Let's put up the net worth here. As Spirit Breaker denied the tower in the bottom lane. We've got Anti-Mage at the top. Even with Van being aggressive. He's still at the top of the list with 1500 gold in the bank. And he will be followed behind by the Ewo Queen of Pain. Smash has finished up the Urn of Shadows. Also have the Orb of Venom in his pocket. And then we've got Sovereign with the Iron Shell Hat. Taking out some of these creeps. Sia has another Chain Frost ready. TPing by the Antimage. Blinks up to get some creeps, which denies the catapult. Msoku being pretty aggressive on that top lane with his Witch Doctor, trying to get to the level 6. Here comes a charge on the Slayer. Slayer cold snaps the Spear Breaker, but it doesn't matter. He uses the charge anyway, and the Invoker goes right down to the Death Ward. Now here comes Van, blinks up, ready to go. The Invoker not having the best game right now. He is 0-3-1. And he's working on drums right now. He has finished them. Here comes a charge on the Loom. Loom takes an Ice Blast. Charge in the back. Loom about to go down. Paralyzing Cask will finish him off. So we'll just see Smash smacking around here. We could say that he's smashing creeps. I'll see myself out. It seems like the only hero right now on enemy that isn't doing terribly is the dark seer who basically uh, is zero zero and zero i guess the ogre is doing okay as well van fakes the mana void he's trying to get out gets hit by the cold snap a couple times take him down to half health and then he pops the arcane rune meanwhile on the top lane smash takes down the tower and van is going to find another rune for his troubles it's going to be an invisibility rune Ewo gets hit by the Ignite on the bottom lane, but he's going to be okay for now. He'll TP out. Getting closer to that Orc and Malevolence. That's going to be his first major item. Let's take a quick look at our XP and Gold graphs. XP firmly in favor of Elite Wolves at about 4,000. And the Gold, about 3,500 in favor of Elite Wolves once again. Slayer has that drums completed, so... I guess we'll be a little bit more tanky in the coming fights. But they still have to worry about Smash on the Spirit Breaker. This cow is mad and he is charging all over the map trying to get those kills. And Banana Slamma Jamma, he's got pretty much nothing right now. He's got level 9, I guess that's something. They're going to see his illusion. And they're going to be spied out by that Dire Observer. And he knows he can't hang around here all that much longer. Using that Iron Town. The old Jungle Terror Blade. He was going to hang out on the top lane. He's about half health. And forced to, t forced to blink away 
by the metamorphosis, or rather the, I don't know, the terrible ability that makes something pop up. They call it reflection sometimes. He is at level 8 right now, still has that Chain Frost available, and now Smash the Sonic if he wants to go in. It's an illusion. He goes on to BSJ. BSJ takes a lot of damage. Sonic Wave is enough to finish him off. Witch Doctor takes the kill, and now there's a Spirit Breaker roll on the Frozen. Taps him on the back, smacks him in the face, and now Frozen. Wiggity bop, you going down. There's a Scream in the back by Ewo. Ewo is on a killing spree. And now the Sunstrike does miss on the Masuku, and now there's a Charge by Smash on the Slayer. Going right for Slayer, going to get... Okay, he's going to stop the charge short and get hit by the four spirits a little bit. But that's about it. Sia continues to farm away in the mid lane. And the four spirits run up the hill. There's a nice little creep hat right there. Definitely the fashion. And now enemy gathering around the bottom rune spot. They're going to walk into Roshan. And I guess this is how they get back into the match. They've got four spirits. They've got a vengeful spirit. And they're going to go right for the Roshan. And they also have that mech on the Dark Seer. Alright, so the Roshan gets takedown. Thank you, Protag, for that. I'm not always looking when I'm casting. And now we've got a couple heroes on the map. BSJ had a smoke pop by Van. Van just sitting in the trees. He's going to blink out. He goes right around Loom. Loom can't get him. He's okay. Van just continues to farm. He's got the Battle Fury up already. And they're walking right under that Radiant Observer. Elite Wolf's not going to be caught by surprises at all. And Van, he just keeps trying to farm. He just keeps trying to farm. Van, he's going to blink out. He's fine. And now Masoku comes in with the Paralyzing Cast. BSJ takes so much damage. He uses the, the ultimate. Takes some health away from Masoku. Masoku in trouble. He's going to go down to the Ogre Magi. Definitely Blast completely misses. And now Van with the Haste in the background. He's trying to do something. Isn't able to. And only the Witch Doctor goes down for that engagement. No, I know you didn't ban him, but you pointed him out. It helps me where to see more lines of chat. So, the Witch Doctor goes down, but I guess that's the best that that Elite Wolves could help hope for from that engagement. Plus, they take the Aegis off of BSJ, and now in the jungle, sends in trouble. Loom going down. Anti-Mage takes out that Vengeful Spirit, getting close to a Vlad's. Meanwhile, the mid-tier 1 tower going to go down to Elite Wolves. 13 to 4 in terms of kills, taking control of this match. Could this be the end for enemy? Anti-Mage takes the last hit on the tower. He's getting closer to that Vlad's. And they're really choking the map. Making it difficult for enemy to get any kills here. The invoker has a blink dagger. And now elite wolves are going to push another lane. See doing a little bit of rewarding. Chain frost about to come off cooldown. And Van looking pretty good on that anti-mage. About 150 gold away from that. Vladimir's offering. Van gets enough gold for the item. And he's going to finish off that ancient stack. So uh, the Spirit Breaker looks to be going for a Shadow Blade. And let's take a quick look at the other items on the heroes. 
BSJ going for the Sanj. And Masoku getting closer to that mechanism. And Ewa has completed the Orchid Mill level. It's definitely useful for the Invoker or a couple of other heroes on enemy. So now that we could have an engagement on the Tier 1 tower. Van blinks up. They gotta get out though. Could have a swap. Loom looking for it. Doesn't get it. And now Elite Wolves are just gonna back up. All of enemies showing up for that fight. Turns out it uh, didn't happen. And he was just going to block the creeps a little bit. Elite Wolves kind of looking around the map for an engage for a tower to take. But they don't really want the engagement with enemy at all. XP and gold graphs. Still in favor of Elite Wolves. Both by about 7,500. And Elite Wolves just kind of looking around the map. Enemy forced to stay as a team as they can't really pick, afford to get picked off right now. Ewa being elusive as ever, staying safe against that big stun lineup. I think what Elite Wolves needs is probably they need the, the BKBs to be up in order to avoid most of that team fight damage. So they're just kind of biding their time until that happens. Just pushing out the lanes a little bit here. Meanwhile, Van continues to farm. Has finished up that Vlad's offering. And he's going to be picking up a Yasha. Could build into a Manta style. We're just kind of settling into a farming war right now. BSJ, he's gotten his Sanj. And the Spear Picker has completed up that Shadow Blade. Now, as much as I hate to say it, I do like this play from Elite Wolves. They're showing that they can do that controlled play that would help them get deeper into tournaments and be definitely a formidable pro team. And they're really taking control of this match, keeping control on the map, and really playing in a very professional style, which is nice. It's nice to see that. As much as I hate to watch it, I like it. Charge here onto BSJ, a little bit far. He's going to use the Shadow Blade, goes right underneath the tower, and he's going to get out. They're going to get out. Smash is going to get slowed down. Sunstrike going to miss. He's got another charge in five seconds. Going to run around the trees for a second. Here comes the Vacuum, and he's going to get stunned right up. Here comes the rest of Elite Wolves, though. Big Mana Void on the Sovereign, doing so much damage. Frozen, Ogre Magi, and the Terror Blade all going down. And now Loom in trouble. Loom uses a swap. It doesn't matter. Triple kill for the Witch Doctor. And the Witch takes a kill there. Meatball comes through. Does a little bit of damage. But it doesn't really matter. The Invoker the only one to survive that fight. And Elite Wolves. Just showing the reactions that they need. To get deeper into this tournament. 17 kills to 4. The top tower goes down to Ewo. Who wasn't even in that fight. And the tier 2 tower. About to go down to Elite Wolves. Antimage takes the tower last hit, and he goes right up to that tier 3. Forces out a Fortify. He's taking some damage. The rest of his team is backed up. Roshan not up for another at least a minute. And the tier 3 towers have taken damage. Definitely a successful fight for Elite Wolves. And Van will only continue to get stronger. He's getting that Manta style up. Has enough gold for it now. With the recipe in the inventory. <laughs> he likes to eat that tree down. Okay, missing kills on the top lane. The uh, the uh, spear breaker a little bit too far in there. Feeds a kill. Yep, Smash is a pretty good player. And Van just going to continue with the Anti-Mage. I'm a little bit surprised to see Van on the Anti-Mage in this match. 
And uh, Sia going to get popped here. Icewell comes down. Doesn't even get to throw out that Chain Frost. BSJ. He's got the Metamorphous Illusions there. And he's building towards that Sanjin Yashi. Going to take that Tier 1 tower down, finally. The Anti-Mage finishes with Manta style, but Banana Slam Ajama is getting pretty good. Enemy finally finding their feet under them in this match. They get a kill on the Spirit Breaker. And then they find Lich in the trees. And these Terra Blade Illusions definitely a force to be reckoned with. Let's take a quick look at our XP and gold graphs. 15,000 in favor of Late Wolves for XP, and about the same for net worth, although there is a small dip there. BSJ, under the vision of the word, he gets the Sanjin Yasha, but here comes the big mean cow. Spirit Breaker, he's got the old up, and he smashes Banana Slam and Jam. Ooh! He does the ultimate to Van, and Van doesn't go down just yet. He's getting chased down by his own illusion. It's not going to hit him. He almost goes down to it. Meanwhile, on the backside, Sovereign with the vacuum takes in Mosoku and Smash Smash going to charge away. But Mosoku, he's going to be the sacrifice. Ooh. Banana Slam and Jamma just staying alive there, using that Sunder to the greatest effect there. And does so much damage to the Antimage, forcing him to back up. Almost wins the man fight there, but... Definitely dodging the bullet there. Now here comes another charge on the BSJ. Is this really what you want, Smash? We'll zoom in. He's going to use the Shadow Blade. He's going right for BSJ. And here comes Ewo with the, with the Orchid. Sonic Wave misses! And Banana Slam and Jam was probably going to pop to the Orchid. And now Sovereign, he's trying to do as much as he can. Ewo uh, blinks out. Leaving Smasher, here comes a Chain Frost. Chain Frost bouncing around with or the Roshan and Frozen goes to Sovereign, doing so much damage. On the backside, Van gets a killing spree, also kills the Invoker, and now Loom, he's in trouble. Van, you've, you're running after him. Loom trying to get away, not going to matter. Queen of Pain gets a kill. Ewo on the killing spree, and they're going to go right into the Roshan. Smash working a little bit better with his team there as Evo comes in with the Orchid to stop BSJ from being a slam and jam in that fight. 21 to 7 is the kill score. Anti Mage leading the net worth chart by far. Pretty much doubling up the Invoker. More gold than the Invoker and the Terror Blade combined. He's going to pick up the Aegis and find some more creeps to kill. And more creeps to kill. And then he's going to find more creeps to kill. He's got almost 300 last hits at this point. And Smash is working towards that BKB. The Witch Doctor has finished up the Guardian Greaves. And Slayer is working towards the Aghanim Scepter. those of you who are just joining us this is the a match from the round of 32 in the america's qualifier between elite wolves and enemy probably one of the higher quality matches in this round and we could very well see one of these teams whichever one wins making it all the way to the grand final in the america's qualifier pretty impressed with elite wolves play right here being pretty controlled and here comes the charge on the bsj the vacuum not going to happen just yet and BSJ just going so far down. Deafening Blast stops the, the fight for a little bit. Here comes the Paralyzing Cask in the back. Look at it go. Bip, bip, bop. Frozen going to go down. And now on the other side, the Darkseer also down. And kills all over the place as there's just Van doing the kills inside the base. Darkseer buys back. There's a vacuum and a wall. The uh, Illusion's immediately taken out, though. And now Sovereign in trouble. BSJ, he's bought back. He can't afford to die here. This could be GG. And BSJ trying to get the work done. The Anti-Mage has gone down, but that's the Aegis popped. And he's going to get right back up. They could go back in on this. Smash. He smashes with the, the Shadow Blade in the back. And BSJ, that's a dieback. He's down for 70 seconds. And this could be the base being broken for anime. Let's take a fight recap there. Not showing the whole tale as we had tons of buybacks. 
Yep, still nothing. And here come Elite Wolves right into the base. Van goes right for the Tier 3 tower. Takes his armor down by the Vengeful Spear, but he's going to use the Manta Style to evade that Ignite. Silence goes on to the Ogre Magi. And Sovereign in trouble. Going to get smashed up, wrecked up. And the Sonic Wave only going to hit on Frozen. Doesn't matter. Fortified structures. Doesn't matter. Deafening Blast. Doesn't matter. Barely tickling Elite Wolves at this point. And Ewo, he's perfectly content to go right in. Frozen going to get charged up. Here comes Van for the Invoker. Invoker is going to go into the trees. He's going to try to get out. Not going to get out. He's blocked in by everybody. Unstoppable is Van on the backside. Witch Doctor with the Death Word doesn't really matter at all. It's, there's nobody there. In the end, two more kills go the way of Wolves and the set of racks, and they can easily rotate to another side. I feel like if enemy keeps coming in here, they're going to just keep dying. Banana Slim and Jammeth throws his face around here. And they're just going to keep trying to stave off Elite Wolves. Here comes the charge on the Frozen. Frozen getting the mana taken out of him by the Anti-Mage. Anti-Mage easily takes him out. Spirit Breaker going to get the kill. And Masoku going to buy up the Force Staff. Has to use it to get away. And the second set of racks going to go down. This match looks like it's in the bag for Elite Wolves. And Banana Slam and Jamma could go down again. Anti-Mage inside the base. Doesn't even care. Uses the Mana Void. Ma Magic Missile in the face. Going to get helped out by the Guardian Greaves. And there's one set of racks remaining. Deafening Blast just hits on Masuku. But the Meatball is just off target. And Elite Wolves, they keep going in the base. You can't get them out. Slayer walking pretty slow with the Ghost Walk. This is a one level in Wex Invoker. And Sovereign... This is going to be the last stand. He has a blink. He has a wall. Will he use it? Here comes a wall. No vacuum. And here comes the smash charge. Loom about to go down. That's the GG. Enemy, they're going to get eliminated from the qualifier. And the Elite Wolves, they keep going. Looking pretty strong in this match. 34 kills to 7. And I'm pretty impressed. I was saying that they didn't look very controlled early at all in the qualifier. But in this game, they're showing their strength. This is... Closer to the top of NA teams, as terrible as they may be at times. But, you know what? Elite Wolves looking pretty good. And that Van Antimage in the mid lane looking fine and dandy. Once again, thanks for watching. This has been the round of 32 in the Shanghai Open Qualifier in the Americas. Got tons more matches coming at you today. I'm Pythian. Once again, thanks for watching. And as always, cheers.